Well, let's just, no. uh, you know, talk about the obvious. Walk me through that pump return, or the, yeah, pump return. The kick return? Kick return, yeah. Kick return. Uh, I was actually surprised they uh, kicked me the ball. I was expecting them to kind of uh, play it safe and just kick it out of the end zone, but they kicked it to me. Um, we had a call where we got to set it to the right, break to the left, so um, followed my blockers, trusted uh, trusted my blockers, and uh, I just made something happen. Talk about that special teams group. I mean, last week, you know, you guys had a punt return. This week, you had a kick return. Um, I mean, special teams is looking pretty special. <laughs> yeah. I think the one thing that sets us apart from other teams is we take it serious. Um, a lot of guys, they don't really take special teams serious, just, you know, take it as a playoff. But we take it extremely serious. And as you can see, when we take it serious, big things can happen. So we had a punt return last week with Taco, a uh, kick return this week with me. So we're looking to uh, keep it going. Have you ever had a, a kick return like that before in your career? Um, I have. Uh, state championship uh, with Saguaro High School out of Arizona. Um, I had yeah, one. I think, um, so this is not, not, not really new to me. <laughs> Did it feel different on that stage, though, just playing against, you know, I mean, it was an unfortunate game on Saturday, but you still returned it on a Pac-12 program that's, you know, doing pretty well right now. Um, I mean, I, I won't lie. Uh, definitely realized that it was a bigger game uh, with the team that we was playing, but I mean, I just keep doing the same things I've been doing. So it don't matter if you're playing Alabama. Obviously, it's a bigger stage, but I mean, those are the type of games you want to show up in. So if anything, it made me want to go even harder. So. We talked to Vegan after the game on Saturday, and he said the biggest thing from moving on that game is owning the loss. Um, what's been kind of the mindset, you know, after the game film that you guys have probably went through yesterday and then coming in today? Um, what's the mindset for this week? I, mean, I think the biggest thing was for us, though, we went into that game thinking we could actually win that game. Um, I feel like we kind of beat ourselves up a little bit, but it's part of the game. Uh, we just got to watch the film, uh, correct our wrongs, uh, which we did today, uh, having some corrections to be made. And uh, just next play, just move on. We got to flush it out. Um, last week it was an upset loss, but you know we just got to come out uh, next week against East Washington and do something different. What are, yeah, what are those mistakes that you guys corrected today? I think the biggest thing for us was uh, just not executing the plays. Um, we felt like in practice uh, that there was a lot of things that we could have executed better, and it showed up on Saturday. So we make uh, the proper corrections. We'll be good to go on Saturday for sure. Tell, just tell us about you know how you got into football and kind of your story a little bit. Uh, so actually, my first word is actually basketball. Uh, but I wanted to dribble the ball, I would kind of carry it. So my dad ended up getting me in football, and it's kind of took off ever since. I first started when I was five, uh, originally from Philadelphia. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how that started, and it's been uh, my love ever since. I, I apologize if this was asked already, but um, I guess I'm just curious, you know, if you could take us into why you transferred, what was uh, the decision to transfer from Sac State, and then specifically choosing here. No, absolutely. I think uh, the biggest thing for me was just um, I just didn't get in as much as I was expecting to. Um, you know, we only get four years at this. Uh, luckily, I registered the first time, so I had, you know, three years to go. But uh, I, I guess I just didn't fit into the scheme. So I um, kind of spoke with my coaches and just made the decision that I wanted to go elsewhere and figure out if I could, you know, find myself on a roster somewhere, you know, and be useful. Hey, uh, how much growth have you you've seen just from the time you started here? To I think the biggest now. thing for me was just locking in more, um, just understanding how, uh, you know, what's at stake. Uh, being on a team that went to a national championship and just seeing how everybody takes things so seriously, it's like I had to uh, kind of match that energy. So um, I feel like... Uh, for sure, the way I lock in more is definitely progress. Yeah. Um, did you expect to have uh, a rushing and uh, special team touchdown before you had a receiving touchdown? I did. Yeah, especially the first game. I, was, I expect to have one every time. Every time I touch the ball, at the very first kick return we had against Oregon State, I was supposed to take that one back. So anytime I touch the ball, I'm expecting to score. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Uh, did you play running back in high school? Is that right? I did, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what, what kind of made you, I guess, switch to kind of more of a receiver position? Uh, it was more so just my size. Um, most, most, especially we in college now, so a lot of guys are kind of like, you know, 200 pounds, stuff like that. I'm kind of like only a buck 60, but I feel like I can do it all. But just having that background kind of helped me in the slot, just being able to, when I get the ball, make moves and I read read uh, the blocks and stuff like that. So um, kind of like, honestly, wherever they put me, I'm good to go. Yeah.